Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I wanted to make this video just to touch up on what I did or what we did earlier, that three-hour video. Um, this is going to be fairly short, so you all going to have to stay with me while I'm dropping this. The other video has much more detail. I advise you to watch it because there's so much that we touched on. Now, we're talking about the origin creations and migration story of the Kusa. Now, this guy, um, he gave me, he apologized to me because he was wrong about this originally. And then he blocked me and made this on the website. So it says, basically, he considers me his latest and greatest critic. But we weren't criticizing his story. We literally got the story out of what he considers his Bible and then gave it to him. But it says the Red River, Rocky Mountains in Mexico have been the speculative origins of the original Muscogee, which were the Abika, Kusa, Coita, Kashida, and Chickasaw, right? Now it says, but no uh, definite starting point for their migration has been definitely discovered, right? Or definitively is what it's supposed to be discovered, right? Now, the reason it says that in the book is because, again, it says they migrated in a series of waves. So all of them don't have the same, don't pinpoint the same um, place. But what he will later expose is that all of this was the same place. It's his issue. What I'm saying is you have groups of people that migrated in the same area, but they tell the story differently. So you may hear in English, Rocky Mountains, Red River, Mexico. But remember, Mexico, can, all of this was inside of Mexico at one point. But he tries to play the game. Now, he says they consider this their Bible, that it has all their laws, the good and the bad. It can show the facts from the fiction. Right. But he says that this land um, that it says. And so it goes for the various branches of our people known as the Kusa, right? Known collectively as the Muscogee Confederation, the Creek Confederation, Creek uh, Confederacy, excuse me, the League of the Muscogees. So I will begin, quote, I will begin with the westernmost area of the Kusa and the group from that area. He's playing a game of if there's separate groups when both groups came up out of the original split. That area is none other than New Mexico, but it includes two other states as well. Texas and Oklahoma. There's a fourth state, Kansas. But we would what we would not address this at the present time. You won't. I will. So this is what Mexico looked like. Before you get the New Mexico, the Texas, the before you get the European BS, the Mexica, these people's land stretched and, and the Red River, Oklahoma and New Mexico was a part of it. So you're playing on the word speculative or alleged when it's already given in there. It just didn't give you the answer directly. It wanted you to search for it. So let's get back to it. It says, um, we will follow both the legend and the critics post on this matter, on the matter. According to the legend itself, the people of Kusa were living in the place somewhere in the West and the ground began to shake and rumble. This place has been identified as being the Rocky Mountain regions of New Mexico. But a more definite description shows that it is or was none other than the region known as El Mapayas. Now, let's look at this. We're going to show you the game that people be playing, right? This is the Rocky Mountain region. So it says speculated Rocky Mountains. Dagger, you got it. It says speculated Mexico. Dagger, you got it. Right? You got it. Then we go to El Mapayas. Now, if we look at El Mapayas, we're looking at uh, vol we're looking at lava tubes, right? Now, what we're gonna look here is when you study the legend of the Kusa, right? When you study the legend of the Kusa, 
This is the quote that he's quoting. I got it from his book, but he attempted to disagree with it. He just doesn't like me. People do this often. If they don't like me, they're going to try to find something to disagree with. But he doesn't know he's literally proving my point. The quote is in the middle of the screen right here. He's literally proving my point. Now, the dagger is, this is explain the origin of human beings. Well, it says Alabama and Muskogee mythology provides an entirely different account of the origins of the first human beings. That the emergence from underground, this type of explanation for the origin of the people associated with the horticultural people. According to the Alabama Casita or Casadas, the first people were created underground by clay. Now, this story isn't just about them. For the Alabamas and the Muskogees, right? It says that uh, the Exus Mundi can be recognized as the tree that grows in the mouth of the cave from which they emerged. It says, for the Alabama, this cave and sacred tree are geographically located by tradition in Alabama between Cahaba and the Alabama rivers. We spoke on the people coming out of the caves that were considered the Alabama. We spoke on how the Kusa conquered these people. So they're including the Alabama story when they come out their caves, but notice that the Kusita, excuse me, the Kusa story is completely different. Now, with their story, with their story being slightly different, right? What we what we will begin to notice is let me go back here to his words. Let's talk about his words. What we will begin to notice is that he says the particular group of Kusa being spoken of are the Alabama Kushadi or the Western Kusa. Now, let's talk about his term for Kusa. Did you all know that Kusa comes from the Cherokee word? Anikusa. So it was the Cherokee that were considering another people to be Kusa or Anikusa. They were giving, they were speaking about all of the Muscogee. But we know that the Muscogee, according to his Bible, let's go to his Bible. Let's go to his Bible. Right. In his Bible, it says the social entity that became known as the Creeks was composed not of a culturally homogenous people, but of groups of people from diverse tribal and linguistic backgrounds. Then he says, right now that that's his Bible. Let me show you when they say that the Muscogee come out of the mouth of the cave or the trembling mountain. This is the mountain. It's a volcano. This is the same volcano they claim to get their fire from, that they went up the Rocky Mountains and met um, the, 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 the Lenape at Yellowstone and they mixed their fires together and became people of one fire. And they carried this tradition out here when they crossed into the east. This is their story. Now, he then says, and let's let's get to he was talking about um, that that the the it was being all of this was going on around 100,000 years ago. But that doesn't mean that those people were called Kusa and it doesn't mean that there were a people there. It wasn't them. He says, next, of course, is the Red River of Texas and Oklahoma. To make this comment very short, I will simply put the link. So he put links in there, right? He says, um, he says, um, and the Red River of Texas and Oklahoma, and this brief exposed so the reader can see how, how they both relate to or link to New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, and even Colorado. Did we not explain that they went to Colorado to meet the Lenape? This was already explained. So it's not that he disagrees with me. He tried to pinpoint his people's places 
which are nothing other than things that I've already explained. But we're going to, we're putting pictures to this. We're making this make sense. Now, this is what I mean by people, um, people who are not Wale should just simply be quiet about things that are Wale. Now, he claims that, right? He says, if we can be proved wrong on this issue, we would welcome it. So you're wrong by saying I'm wrong. You eventually prove me right. You said I'm wrong and quoted me and proved everything that we said right. He says, on the matter of Wale and Wale origins, we hold that Wale origins is not so shrouded in mysteries as some camps would have us believe. But if I'm not shrouded in mystery, how did I know your story? And you admit that you didn't know the story. You had to go read the story and come back with it. And you added on to the things that I said, confirming the story that I gave. Now, he wants to say that the Wale are descendants of their mother, right? Which he can, uh, which we would consider, or in the, we're talking about the word, right? Which is considered uh, hukli wahali. Hukli wahali. Here's the issue with that. When you look up hukli, right? Or hukwali, that is nothing but war town. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. See, when you, what he's considering or what they would consider a, right, an Alabama group of people is nothing but a word used for a war town. It literally means those who cut war in two. Every town that was a war town was considered to be such. Then the Li Wahali, the Li Wahali, asked in their, excuse me, asked in their turn who the strangers might be. And they said, we are such and such and such and such and such and such. But let's talk about how real quick um let's talk about how the kusa right and this was given by chikili this was given by brim's family right when they talk about the kusa it says uh and and this is talking about the kushida the alabama kushida that he also claims to be a part of. Now, when it talks about them coming out the mouth of the earth, right? It talks about them not uh, accepting certain uh, information from different groups. It talks about this mountain which thundered, which we spoke about years ago. I have the proof. This is years ago. Right? They talk about them taking a so-called motherless child and smashing them against a, 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 a stick and carrying that stick into the war. They talked about getting scalps and scalps and whichever nation shall cover its war sticks with scalps. The fir first will be considered the oldest. So it's not even about them being the oldest. It's just some funny, some shit that they did like that. Now let's go back to the story. Right. He says their intermixes with the Yuchis and the later uh, Tamukas and Yamasi is too, I mean, also self-evidence. That's not a problem. Right. There's no confusion when we broke down your story years ago and you did nothing today but just confirmed it. He then tried to limit our chiefdom to Florida when Florida was from the coast to the coast. You don't know about us, brother. Then to say you must know about matrilineal and or matriarchal and matrilineal, you must know about this in order to have this story right. He's coming from a people that's patrilineal and patriarchal. That's why he denied the story originally and then came back and just confirmed the story that we told you all months ago. 
Again, so his problem is he wants to unify everyone into these groups to make him feel special. When he himself was kicked out of the nation. See, he is Yuchi by Tamuqua terms, meaning he's one of shame. He's someone that did something so shameful. His own nation got rid of him. Is this someone that we should be listening to? This is a guy that just apologized to me for being wrong. Blocked me and then got on here saying I'm wrong while confirming my story. Or not my story, his story that we told, right? His story. See, he talked about me not being shrouded in mystery is because it's not a mystery to me. It's my story. I know what's going on, brother. We know what's going on. And he did nothing but prove that we know what's going on. How embarrassing should it be for anyone that calls him their chief? A man who got on there and said, no, I don't speak Yuchi. So how will you tell the Yuchi creation story? Notice the story he told of the Western Kusa. Has nothing to do with the Yuchi story of them coming down from the sky. It has nothing to do with the Wale story of them coming out of the water. This is someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. So, again, he will get this. And you all take this information and watch it again and watch it again. So you can see that the Muscogee or all of the people that were called Ani Guza that came up out of that. And those people that were the Nape, they were no good. They came over here warring. We're not talking about what they looked like. We're talking about what they did. It's simple. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe.